welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today at Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studios. And joining us is Chef Tony Clark. He's a guest chef today with Amana Accelerated Cooking Products. Welcome, Tony. Well, thank you. It's good to see you again. Always nice to see you. What's on the menu today? We've got lots of gorgeous seafood. Yes, we're gonna go, we're gonna go crazy today. <laughs> we're gonna make like a ratatouille, we're gonna stuff bread snapper with. We have a whole lobster we're gonna steam and then roast. We're gonna make a bechamel with a nice like sea scallop, crab meat and shrimp. Oh yeah. Like a Newburgh like style. Like a Newburgh, sure. Yeah, like a Newburgh. Yep. We're gonna steam some uh, corn in the husk and then we're gonna peel it after it's cooked. We're gonna cool, it's easy, I like it's that. It's like summertime That's a Jersey on a plate, husk. yeah. We're gonna cook off some shrimps and we're gonna throw some spices in there. We're gonna do it all, all whole and ugly and delicious. Love it. You know, and then uh, if we have any time, we'll do some other things. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We've also got Mark Sabo. He's the corporate chef here at Nordon. What's up, Mark? Hey, Tony. Hey, Mark. How are you? Thanks a lot for bailing Hi, me out, Mark. Always glad to be here. Thank you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook, cut the vegetables for the ratatouille. Okay. So, and I'm gonna cut them, and we're gonna cook them in the in, in our oven here. So first, we're gonna do is take the eggplant, mm -hmm. skewer it. Why do you score it? Just so it cooks a little uh, through it and so it's a nice solid piece. Okay. Okay. So I take this and then I'm gonna take an onion, right? Think that's big enough, Marco? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, my man. How long does it think this is gonna cook? These roasted veggies uh, probably get about five, six minutes. What? Yeah. I don't even have to scream in the kitchen when it's cooked that fast. <laughs> Hey, and I'm if we cut them even fun. smaller, we'd go faster, but <laughs> we're going Tony's way, so, but still, this, this is great. Five, six minutes, wow. That's nothing. I know, it's nothing, I know. This oven's insane. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these vegetables in, we're gonna put a little olive oil right there, Marco, okay? I'm gonna throw a little thyme, just like, just like this, right on top. Really soak up the eggplant with the olive oil, it sucks it in. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's like that. a sponge. Yeah. Maybe I'll cut these in half, just for fun, just so we can sneak some oil. So Mark, tell me a little bit about this oven. This is the AXP22? Yes, the AXP22 is a combination convection microwave oven. Okay. Uh, it has the ability to cook things very fast using microwave and impingement heat, which is also like convective heat. Okay. We're gonna be running this oven with some microwave at about 520 degrees. Whoa. That's hotter than any traditional oven even goes. Hotter yes, than any chef is. there is. <laughs> huh? So I just put a little salt and pepper on there. I'm gonna put a little long hots in there too. You know Whoa. why? Oh. Long hots. Just for the house. A little South Philly in there? Yeah. Relax, <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta be careful. If you're from South Philly, you can say that. If you're from South Jersey, you can't say that. You know that. <laughs> well, here you go, we'll get started with this. Great. Awesome. So you crowd all of that into one pan and that's still gonna cook up in five minutes? We got our let's, fingers crossed. Let's see what it does. Yeah, keep your fingers <laughs> crossed. I will. Okay. What so, next, Tone? So next, we're going to put this uh, tomato closer to the end of it with, with the roast. So we're right. going to add that in there. Is that a Jersey tomato? Uh, it's from um, South Philly. Not as good. <laughs> no offense. Shh. <laughs> we could get them out of trouble. Okay, now. I understand. The next thing we're going to do is we have a lobster here. And we're going to put a lobster in a steamer, right, Margo? Yes. It's very okay. much alive. Yes. You want to come in here like this, right to the head. Right off the Nice back. and quick. Right, okay. How big is this, like a it's three pounder? Three pound. Before you steam it, you have you can, and that's what I do, is crack the claws. And why don't you step back? I will, oh, excuse me. That's how hard you have to do, okay? There you go. Then we're gonna put this in here like so. Open this up. Mm, beautiful. Mm. We wanna take this out. That's the best part. Uh, yeah, what is that Co called? According to my grandfather, the yeah. tamale. Yeah. People love that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we start with the lobster like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to season it. And you're going to stuff this. We're going to stuff it after we steam it for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just so the you know, uniformity with the um, claws are cooked and everything like that. Sure. I take a little oil in there, olive oil. Mm -hmm. Just to put a little bit of water in there we put in. Right. That's gonna enable us to create steam within the cavity. So while this is cooking, this will be steaming inside there at Perfect. the same time. So steamer steam. So we can put this in and I'll start the bechamel. So how long do you think that lobster's gonna take? About three minutes or so. Jeez, three minutes. I gotta work fast. I might lose weight on this show. 
Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. Nordam, it's fantastic. There's a lot of space, high-tech equipment. The ovens are phenomenal. I can't wait to own one. What I'm gonna do is if you could peel me just the shrimp. No, uh, keep the head on. Take the head off on just this much, okay? Okay, we're gonna take a little salt. And totally peel them? Yeah, totally peel them. Okay, and I have a little flour. So when you make a, a, a roux for the bechamel, it's equal parts flour and butter. Tails on? Yeah, just, just like that. Okay. So equal parts flour and butter, right. make the roux. Turn this down. Everything's hot in this thing. <laughs> huh? I like that. It's just you, Tony. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, keep an eye on it. warm. Well, it's a really hot stove, but I don't think it gives off too much heat to you. <laughs> you know, all the heat stays in the pan. Yep. Okay, so I added some, some milk, right? And I thickened up. So that's really thick, basically. Right. Well, that's okay. I like that because we're going to have some fun with that. Mm -hmm. We always okay. have fun. Then what we do is I have some beautiful sea scallops. Look at that. Mm. Very nice, already cleaned. Right, throw a little seasoning on there. Look at that crab meat too. Yeah, colossal crab meat. Ooh. Right, we have a little uh, jus from the crab meat, we'll put it in there. Put all that in there. Okay. That's can, that could serve 10 people. Or one Tony. Yeah, or, <laughs> yeah, two Tonys. Okay, so then we add a little cheese. We can throw the shrimp in there now. Now I know you're not Italian. Well, I am French trained love. <laughs> Okay. If you just toss that in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little parsley. Throw that shrimp in there. Okay, now how is that lobster? Can we pull that out? Let's take a look. Okay. All right, see that? It's doing good. It's doing good. I think I, I wanna give it another minute and a half. Okay. So tell me when that's ready and then we'll add this. And that's really only been what? Three minutes so far? That was actually two minutes. Two minutes. It's not bad, huh? Mm-hmm. Veggies are about done, Tony. Okay, let me bring wow, them out. Wow, those vegetables are done already? Let's see this. Oh my gosh, look how brown they got. That's incredible. Great. Put them right over here. Have you ever seen anything cook so fast? Uh, me. No, I'm <laughs> joking. Your Irish skin in the sun? I know. This is amazing. Look at that. Soft, wow. just like that. Totally, okay. totally tender. Look at the color on these. So we're gonna, we're, we're actually gonna put them back in for a second, but mm -hmm. we're gonna kind of mix it up a little bit. How hot are the long hots? They can vary a lot. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, it depends on the, the, the time of the year, where it's at with the sun. How is it? Very mild. Sometimes they're more mild on the tip right. like that, too. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to kind of like chunky up here. Look at this. It's amazing. OK. Let me see this. The tomato's cooked, but it's oh like gosh. a saucy kind of thing. Yeah. I love when tomatoes roast and get nice oh, and me sweet. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like a nice pasta with the tomatoes are like that. OK, here's the pepper that we did earlier. I mean, how long was that? Not even five minutes. This would take me 45 minutes in the restaurant. Easy. Well, I love how brown everything got. I mean, mm. it's so it's the microwave heat, it's the infrared heat, infrared and convection heat. heat. And the convective heat, yes. Wow. I so mean, we, we control that convective heat with the ability to control the fan speed. Interesting. So we, so we can turn the fan speed virtually almost all the way down mm -hmm. to all the way up as high as what we call number 10, which is the highest fan speed. And the, the higher the fan speed, the hotter the oven? The hotter the oven, actually, the more browning caramelization you'll get oh, okay. for toasting. If you put this in there for me, just to give it a little more color. Sure. You can smell that lobster. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Well, it smells like summer at the Jersey My Shore. Bad. So you're just chopping everything up right there. Right. We're going to season this up. And you don't mind that eggplant I skin? Oh, I love that Do eggplant you? skin. Yeah. Okay. Let's put a little oil, salt, pepper, and spice on there. I'm going to do a little basil on there for you. Oh, wait here, Tony. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put the potatoes in. Awesome. And get them Thank going. You. Thank you, Bobby. Whoops. You're saving my Thank life. You. There you go. Now, do you have to skewer them or nothing? Right? Just right in, right? Yeah, yeah. We can just put these we'll right. Put in a little here. water in the bottom or no? You already did that. My man. All right. Oh. 
All right, let me see that knife over there, love. This one? Yep. Okay. Oh, that basil smells So awesome. it's fresh, you just yeah. add that to that. Okay, we're gonna put a little lemon on there. Brighten all that up. A little freshness on there. Mm. Nothing like basil in the summertime. I don't know. Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. So this is my first time at Nordon and it's been an absolutely incredible experience. The equipment is top notch from the induction burners to this, I mean the stove gave up off incredible heat, but wasn't hot to me. This deck oven is beautiful. I mean, a plancha, the variety of, of products that they have is incredible. I would like to do this in a roast, in the same roasted oven. We can put this in there. Look at that, it's already cooked, fully cooked, right? Will mm -hmm. this fit in there? Yes, that will. Okay, look. You take this here. All right, so this is really gonna do really cool. This nice, beautiful scalp, I love that. Okay, we're, we're gonna put a little cayenne on there, like that. We we'll put a little drizzle of olive oil on there. A little of this cheese in there. Not a lot of cheese. That's just cheddar? Yeah, a little cheddar, yellow cheddar, okay. Cook that off. Now is this gonna go back into the steamer or are we gonna roast this? And That's get some gonna color? go in the wow. roasting pan, beautiful. Look that was that. not even two minutes. Nothing. All right, we're gonna add that right to this. Gets so much more flavor when you have that. Oh, and it's fresh and everything like that too. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Here's a red snapper. We have this pan here. Oh, I love red snapper. It's one okay, of my favorite fish. Yeah, I do too. And I like it from America too, because they really mm -hmm. know how to, when they catch it, they keep it cold. That's the key. Yeah. You know? Right, you can see how fresh it is Give me that half eye. of that onion. Oh, so awesome. you use that to prop it up? Yeah, why not? Neat. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put some salt and right the herbs. Here. Gotcha. Okay. This looks like a, an old bay kind of thing here. Let's put some um, olive oil. Now we're gonna steam this. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna pre-cook this a little bit. Okay. And then when this is set pretty well, then we're gonna throw this in here with the oil and everything right on top. Marco, if you could steam that for me when you get a chance and throw this in the oven for me, the shrimp. So we put that. some in the stuffing, what's gonna happen to the rest of these? We're gonna season that up right now. Is this the old bay? Yep, you can put uh, some salt. I wanna cut up some garlic. How aggressive should I be with this? Um, Okay, you're making it for your husband. Very aggressive. He, he loves is this aggressive. stuff. <laughs> he is aggressive. He's the luckiest man in South Jersey. You know that. Not I as tell lucky him as every you, time I tell him. That looks killer. We're gonna use that as a garnish. Okay. Okay. Mark, you're like sweating over there, huh? It's like a regular restaurant over there, huh? It sure is, Tony. Right, well, you know, nothing's for free, baby. Oh, you got some salt on there, love? More salt? No, do you have some? You have some on there, right? I right, put some herbs in there, some thyme. Yeah, we could have got a bigger bowl for the mix. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, it's the recipe, it's a small bowl. Do you small read bowl. that? Small bowl, all right. <laughs> all right. Use all the time? All the time you got, all the time you got. So I want to use all your time. How's that, uh, how's that corn? It's cooking. Cooking, I love that, good answer, okay. Lots of garlic. Is that almost ready? It's getting there. Okay. So we got to put this in there. Okay. We got. What do you want? Um... I want to put that in there. Yes. And then I want to put that in that. Okay. Larry's cooking. Good. The lobster. Larry the lobster. Larry. You wanted him okay. roasted, right? That's yes. not right. <laughs> oh, Larry's good. He's happy. Yes. More long hots. Okay. So what's new with you, Tony? I hear you've got some interesting yeah, things I'm happening. Yeah, I'm going home for the first time in my life, New Jersey. Uh, That's right. The Haddon Township area. I'm opening up a restaurant on Cooper River. Where Fantastic. I used to go when I was a little boy across the river in the ice and uh, had all kinds of fun there. And they're welcoming me back. Believe it or not. Congratulations. They threw me out, and now they're welcoming me back. They oh, didn't... who wouldn't be happy to have you back? Oh, you should have heard what I used to do. <laughs> all right. Nothing surprises me. So what do you got? Potatoes are almost done. All right, cool. Corn is almost done. We're waiting for the lobster to come out in All order. Right. We want to get this into the oven. We're going to start. We're going to cheat. We're going to cheat? <laughs> yeah, because that's what I do. Okay. All right. Is that why they kicked you out of Haddonfield? Haddon Township. Haddon I wasn't Township. allowed in Haddonfield. Okay. That was a border control. <laughs> you know, they would stand there. Tony Clark, not allowed. 
Mm. All right. It smells great. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I think we got done this here. All right, cool beans. Just put it right here, and we'll plate that up. Where'd you like that? Right down, and I'll plate it up. Whoa, Larry. Larry, you're doing great. That looks killer. And it smells, oh man. Put this in, babe. Okay. That's sick, isn't it? It's really sick. Thank you. <laughs> I'm doing my job. All right, put the shrimp Look on at here. Look this, yep. I don't know if I got enough Old Bay in the bottom. I'm There's sure a lot of liquid down in there, too. I don't know if you want that. I think it's going to do good when we put it in the oven. All right, we're going to put this in when you're ready. OK, let's plate this up. I got you. Which plate do you want? I mean, this big guy? That's the one. Yeah. Look at, it. You, look at the way you hold it. Look at, you work at a pizza place. <laughs> huh? Maybe I do work at a pizza place. Come on, bring it in. <laughs> Maybe you do. OK. You're quick, Tony. Need Tony's got all the one-liners. All right. You want to help me with this? What do you Grab need? Me this back. We're going to try to pick it up carefully, coming in this way. Wow. Where are we going, on the plate? Yeah, we're going on the plate. I got the arms, and you got there. Yeah, you got it there. There it is. Pick it up. Boom, 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 boom. Come this way. Boom, boom, boom. Goes on an angle. Oh Fabulous. Oh, my goodness. Let's put a little of this seaweed there to show it's... So we know where it came from? Yeah, the seaweed. We're going to go right on the top with that. Wow. You think you can eat this? Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. Cooking in Nordon is one of... The, my most favorite things that I get to do when I get invited to the show, just because the equipment is so fantastic and they pretty much have everything you could possibly dream of as a chef. I bet you these potatoes are done. Oh, they're done. Wow. Huh. And that took what, six uh, minutes? Let's put this uh, in yeah, the about, the show. It's about seven. Seven? We could, I like to take those potatoes out. Let's get Hi, the man. shrimp in here, man. Um, you're on a mission. <laughs> huh? This wife must be happy. Was happy, right? We're going oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so you're panicking. Why are you panic? I'm not panicking. Right, well, thank one you. of the really cool God, things I love, I love about Nordon is that we have chefs like Mark here on staff to train you on any of the equipment that you might not know what how to use. What are you saying? Use. I'm untrainable? No, you're the most trainable guy oh, I know. Now you're, now you're blowing smoke. Okay, look at this. Let's take these. Okay, we're going to put these with the, the lobster, but let's get them ready first. You gonna do anything to them or just kind of straight up plain potatoes? Okay, look, we're gonna put a little salt. Uh huh. Okay. We're gonna put a little butter. All right. All over. Butter and potatoes is so That's good. The, uh, it's all they yes. need. You know, my mashed potato. Oh, it's your a, mashed potatoes are. It's a butter bonkers. potato. Okay, so we start like that. Butter with a little bit of potato. Yes. We go in here like this with the melted. Just throw them in here like that. That's fun. <laughs> oh. That reminds me of my grandmother. Lobster and potatoes? Just, yeah. Or just butter? Butter, <laughs> butter with a, a, something that was starchy. So we just take uh, this corn. It's been steamed, right? And we just peel the husk, and they're cooked. And the, the hairs come right off with it, with the husk. You See? really have no feeling left in your hands, do oh, you? <laughs> Those are so hot. They can hot. never say I'm cold hearted. Hey, Tony, our red snapper's done. Oh, bring that out. OK, that's good. Wow. Check so, that baby out. Oh, fabulous. All right, so we're going to take this. That is so, so beautiful. All right, baby, slide it slowly, slowly. OK, there you go. Don't worry about that. That's perfect. Put all that right here. That's good. We just put the corn here. And then we just wait for the shrimp. It's a lot of shrimp, Tony. I know. <laughs> I packed it in there. You packed it in. OK, good. OK, that looks cool. Now we're just going to take this out, Mark. Mm. Lift that up out of the water. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. These are beautiful shrimp. Wow. They're all, there's so much taste here when you leave, cook it like this with the head on. You can leave it like that. Wow. <laughs> this is a lot of food. This is an appetizer. I don't even know where to begin. Right I guess here, right, right, in, the middle, right in the middle. Go for it. Look at that. Look at that big monster mm. right there. See that? It's good. Look at that. Smoking hot. Kill mm. it. Cook perfectly. Cool. Perfectly. Wow. Look at these potatoes. Look at that. That's cooked. Smoking hot. Look at that. That's amazing. Wow. 
Seven minutes to a perfectly tender potato. Yes. I want to get into this snapper. Look at that, fresh fish. Perfect. Mm. Mm hmm So fresh. It's sick. Check this out is amazing. Will you peel one for me? Of course, honey. <laughs> Look. Such perfect light summer eating. Look, baby. Right there. Here Thank you. Go. you. I did that for you. Oh. Wow. What are you mm. trying to get? Nothing. Are huh, you sure? Possibly. You know where I parked my car? No. All right, bro. I just appreciate your presence. Thanks, love. Amazing. Everything is amazing. Tony, thank you so much for being you, with dear. us on The Chef's Kitchen. Mark, thank you for having us here at Nordon. And Welcome. thank you to Amana for these incredible ovens that cooked this whole spread in 15 minutes. Probably if you tallied up all the cook time. Mind blowing, seriously. Well, I'm gonna get back in here and keep eating. Good job. Can't wait to come back. Awesome. For the viewer who is passionate about food and wine, The Chef's Kitchen provides tips and techniques from the country's most exclusive restaurants. Tune in next time to see one of the nation's top chefs, such as George Perrier, Roberto Donna, Jose Garces, Michael Schlau, or Tony Clark, as they share their culinary talents and unique creativity. Learn how to make the delectable dishes and hip creations they're serving in today's restaurants, or impress your family with a culinary twist on tonight's dinner. Check our website for listings in your area or today's recipe. Listen, Nordon is blowing me away. Now I have a kitchen like this. I've never worked in a kitchen like this my whole life. I'm moving in Nordon's kitchen next week. That's how much I like it.